What's up guys, we're here and we're finally at the new series of the first one of how to gain muscle with me. Uh, today is about macros and calories, so I want to explain to you how to work out your calories, what a calorie is, what a macro is and how to work out your macros. So, let's jump straight into it. Let's build some muscle together, boys and girls. First things first guys, ignore me reading off this sheet, it's just so I don't get lost at where I'm going. First things first, what is a calorie? A calorie is anything that has a caloric value. So whether it's a piece of fruit, whether it's some drink, whether it's you know any kind of chicken or beef or rice or anything, all of those things have calories. The amount of calories that we ingest will have a direct correlation with our weight, whether it goes up, whether it goes down, whether it stays the same. So first things first, we all have a calorie maintenance level. That is the amount of calories that we need to ingest. That means the amount of food we need to eat in order to maintain our own body weights. Uh, right now, as you're seeing on screen, this is how I work out. So you wanna to go to this website. Uh, he's a very, very good YouTuber, Scooby. I've always followed him for a long time. And this is how I actually originally found out my calories. Uh, you type in all your information. It's just the easiest ways to do it. Type in all your information as I'm doing. Um, height, weight, age, all of these things have an effect on the amount of calories we need to ingest. Uh, activity level as well. If I'm a rugby player and I'm training four or five times a week, I'm going to need a lot more calories to maintain my body weight than someone who sits at an office desk and just does work all day and, and, and doesn't really get out and about and moves. So as you see me putting in my details, I've put the clean bulk. That gives me a calorie surplus. But as you see in the middle box right there, uh, that gives me a total amount of calories of 3,265 calories. So in order to maintain my weight, that is to not lose weight, to not gain weight, I need to eat 3,265 calories a day. But we're not trying to get, we're not trying to maintain our weight here guys, we're trying to gain weight, we're trying to add muscle, we're trying to make sure that weight keeps going up and up and up. So. If you've got your maintenance calories at 3,265, it's gonna be a different number for you guys, be a different number for everybody. I add either 100 calories, 200 calories, 300 calories, or 1,000 calories, depending on how much weight I want to gain. I'm not too worried about how much fat I gain, as I've been kind of bulking for a while now, so I rounded it up above 300. Actually, to be honest, I eat more than that a day at the moment. Probably have about 3,800, 900. So, if you are fat conscious, then just add you know 50 calories above maintenance 100 calories above maintenance and slowly slowly that will change as i would explain later on in this video we have the amount of calories we need to eat at 3600 this is the bulk i'm just doing this for the sake of explaining to you guys then we need to work out how many macros we need how much of the carbohydrates how much of the protein and how much of the fat we need to eat ourselves and in what ratios and what works best for us now guys, when we talk about macronutrients, the first things we need to work out is how many calories a macronutrient has. Macronutrients being carbohydrates, fats, and protein. So, protein, four calories. Per one gram of protein, we have four calories. For one gram of carbohydrates, we have four calories. For one gram of fats, we have nine calories. How much protein is good? There's so much shit on the internet about how much protein you should eat, how much you shouldn't eat, all this and all that. I'm gonna stick with the basics and no that's not one pound per body weight, one gram per pound of body weight like everyone says. It's gonna be anywhere from, depending on the person, Not 0.7 to 1.1 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So for me, I weigh about 208 pounds, 209 pounds on a heavy day. And I personally like to go for about 0.9 grams of protein per pound of body weight. I would say if you're very, very new to working out, maybe start towards the lower end and then slowly build it up. If you're a very, very seasoned um, 
athlete or you've been lean before, then I would probably move towards the upper end. For me, this is the best. I've seen studies, I've seen other bodybuilders, and this is my experience. These are the best ranges in order to, uh, for where you should put your protein. I personally don't like to eat too much protein, so I go towards the lower end of the scale at 0.9 grams, but some people like to eat a lot of meat and they should go towards the higher end. I wouldn't suggest going any higher because there's no real benefits in it. It's gonna end up costing you a lot more money. It's gonna tax your digestive system a lot more than carbs would and fats would, um, as they work a bit better with the human body. So, 0.9 is where I go for, and what I am going for for this bulk, that works out at 187 grams of protein. So I have 187 grams of protein every single day, as I am 208 pounds. So 208 pounds times 0.9 is 187. That's how I work out my protein. Second of all, we work out our fats. So we come down here for the fats and recommended per day is anywhere from 15% fat and 25% fat. That percentage stands for total of your calories. So back up to here, my calories are 3,600. So I want anywhere from 15% to 25% of 3,600 calories to come from fats solely. I personally love a high fat diet, so I always go for the 25%. Some people who don't like fat, you can aim for the lower portion of, of the 15%. I wouldn't recommend it going lower than 15%. It can affect your hormones and um, testosterone regulation and other things. It's, it, fat's really good for your skin. It's great for your sex drive and just generally a very, very important, important macronutrient that's often overlooked by many, many people. So I go towards 25%, that's just me. You guys can stay anywhere between this. 25% of 3,600 uh, 3, calories for me is 900 calories. So then we take 900 calories and we divide it by nine to work out the amount of grams of fat we need. Obviously 900, it works out 100 grams of fat. So we end up with 100 grams of fat. Easy, easy peasy. So 0.9 grams of protein per pound of body weight for me personally 185 grams and then 100 grams of fat which is 25% of my total calories from there we add this number and this number in terms of calories so we times that by four and we times this by four by nine so that's 900 and this is 750 I believe rounded rounded to the nearest 10 so 750 calories Plus 900 equals 15 something or other. Anyway, it'll be coming on screen now. That's how much it adds up. We minus this number by this number and we work out the amount of calories that we need from carbohydrates. So when we come to carbohydrates, it is the rest of the cows. By the rest of the cows, we mean the amount of calories from fat we've already worked out, we take away. The amount of calories from protein we've worked out, we take away. And then all of that is, is that number divided by, is this number, uh, which is this amount. Divide that by four, and it works out at 400. And, 70, uh, 487 grams of carbs. So that is the amount of carbs that I will be eating per day. 487 grams of carbs, 187 grams of protein, and 100 grams of fat. That's how I've worked out my macros for this bulk, and it's how I've worked out my calories for this bulk. Um, from here, we don't just leave it. We don't just stick to those calories and those macros every single week. We monitor our weight, we monitor the change in the mirror, and we constantly adjust the calories. So probably every two or three weeks, probably three weeks, I'll be, step, I'll be uh, stepping on the scale again. I'll be comparing that number to the number of three weeks ago and the weeks before if I'm weighing myself. If it's gone up, great, maybe we can keep going. If it's gone down or not changed at all, that's when we put this number up 
and these numbers will change accordingly. So we need to watch out guys. Progression is key in, in cutting, in bulking, in the gym, everything. Progression is key. So if I'm 90, if I'm 208 pounds this week and I work out at 210 pounds next week or I work out at 215 pounds in three weeks, my calories will need to go up as I have more mass. I have more weight. Um, so therefore my calorie expenditure will be more to maintain my own weight. So this may go up to 3,700 in three weeks time. That way I'll just readjust this. They'll all go up by a few grams here and there. I hope that was straightforward for you. I don't know if I got messed up a little bit there, but hopefully in editing this video, it will all make sense to me and I can make it presentable for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This is the first one in this series, so I hope you enjoyed it. This is how to make your macros and how to get your calories for a bulk, for gaining muscle, for adding weight to your frame. So, peace everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and I love you all. Peace.